Well, hello, dedicated followers of the channel. This is um, your one and only. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, you've seen the thumbnail, so you've got an idea of what the video is going to be about. Now, this this is going to be a. I keep saying this isn't going to be a thirty-minute video. I'm going to tell you, it's not going to be a thirty-minute video. Now, if you've watched that video there, I was spraying these Veluxes. One of the issues I had with the Velux um, spraying is a tape around the outside where you can let's call it the reveal. I tape around the outside, came to take the tapes off from after spraying, and I knew and I said at the time we we're going to have a little bit of an issue with tape pulling off the cheap contract matte emulsion that was originally put on the bare plaster walls. The question marks could be did they properly wash coat it? That I doubt. But today I've come back and I'm going to address these issues where the paint's flaked off. Now it's quite straightforward and simple. You can see where the paint's flaked off. I'll show you in a minute, but clearly you can see where you've pulled the paint off. All it's going to be is get a filling knife, get a scraper, get something, scrape back that edge till we get a tight edge. If it means you've got to scrape off all of that reveal, so be it. But don't try and make the paint come off unnecessarily, if, if that makes sense. Scrape it off to a tight edge, give it a little bit of a light, a braid, just get some used sandpaper to just scratch, key up the surface, dust it off, and then what we're going to use is, yeah, we love it. We love this, don't we? Zinza. What would we do without Zinza products? We're going to use Peel Stop. Now, Peel Stop is ideal when you've got a situation where you've got flaking paint, crazed paint, I always say to you, please read the back of the can. But today's use of it is to seal that, we call it a matte edge. If you've got walls that have had, oh, let's call it wallpaper on and you strip them off and they've had uh, previous coatings of emulsion that's softened up with that paste that's on it and obviously you've stripped it all off, you can sometimes get the emulsion coming off with the paper stroke paste. You've cleaned it all down, you've got matte edges that are a little bit peely, you know, like coming up once it dries in the air, you can go over the surface and bind those down. And this is what the plan is with this, the peel stop. I'll just read the front of the can for you. It's a clear binding primer. We like that. I must say, don't thin it, no need to thin it. Shake it up, mix it up, make sure you've got it all agitated. Don't thin it. Um, seals, cracks, and crazing, and that's what I was just saying. If you've got crazed areas that people have probably put, I don't know, the wrong paint on the wrong surface, and you get that cr crosling, crazing, where surface tensions have altered, and it looks like crocodile skin, put that over it. Give it to sand, give it a key, put that over it. This, put that, put this. Um, glues down paint edges. Glues down old paint edges. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be going round these paint edges with plenty of that, making sure it sits and seals underneath that edge. That'll bind it down. It's dry within an hour and the rate you can be painted over it within two. But what we're going to be doing is putting it on, letting it dry, giving it a fine skim of filler, let that dry, light a braid, and then you can spot prime it. If you want to spot prime it with that, just to seal it, you can do, or you can just thin down your emulsion that you're going to be using for touching back up. Now, if you remember off that video, this ceiling all the way around was Bedeck Spray Daylight. Now, for ease, because I don't want to be thinning that down any more than I need to, because I'll just want to touch it in, I'll probably wait till the filler's dry, touch in with that, let it dry, and then just touch in, because this will be a good primer sealer for that paint going over it. Um, last bit of information, this, this can be used outside and it binds chalky substrates. Now if you don't know what the word substrate is, surfaces, binds down surfaces. Stabilizing solutions, very similar to this for outside use, chalky friable old surfaces that need addressing, you'd put a stabilizing solution on, or if you like you can use peel stock which is very nice. Again, don't thin it. Obviously, I'm going to say obviously is like, you know, some people don't know. Don't use this sort of stuff if you know it's going to rain because you want it to dry before it rains. 
It can be used outside, it can be used inside. And this is the difference between this and guards. Guards inside, guards not outside. And before anybody's shouting at me, watch that video there. These products are not PVA. PVA is not this. If you think that PVA can go onto bare plaster surfaces prior to painting, back to painting school please, back to painting school. Because PVA is not a product that the painter uses like that. PVA is for plasterers and builders and it's to go on surfaces prior to them putting renders on or mix SBR, is SBR the other one people are spouting on about? They're all builders products, they're not painters products and I know you'll say oh you've got away with it, you're getting away with it, don't use it. There's plenty of other decorators products that are suitable for this sort of work that we're doing. Covered the lens, getting upset. It upsets me, PVA. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to move the camera around. I think, just read the label. If in doubt, read the label. You can also download um, on your phone, there's the Zinza app. That will have all your products that Zinza do and all your surfaces and any questions of what do I need to use where, it will be addressed on there. So download the app. No endorsement, no sponsorship. I'm not sponsored by anybody. We'd love to be sponsored by Porsche. Want a roof rack on a Porsche? How can you get a roof rack on a Targa? I don't know. Right, I'm going to move the camera around and we'll look at this flaking and I'll show you what we do with scraping. Flaking and scraping. Got a little bit of lens flare there. You can see me. If any of you are um, in the police or should be in the police, you're probably noticing I have kitchen, I have kitchen units, doors, everything ready to go in. Now, as I'm doing this, I've got to wait over a week before my joiner comes in to do the kitchen. Never mind, but we're nearly there. There's a kitchen. But when you probably watch this video, you'll probably find that, um, yeah, the kitchen's already in. Never mind. Right, I'm gonna try and get there so I'm not, oh, let's move. Move this to there, is that better? Right, you can see where this is all flaked. I'm gonna bring it down like that. I'm gonna zoom in like that, uh, like that, or like that. Right, what we've got here, I've just got a flat, flexible, this is a Purdy filling knife. Nothing complicated. Flexible, so nice. I've sanded down the edges so they're quite sharp. And all I'm gonna do is literally pig it underneath till I can feel a tight edge. I don't wanna strip the whole lot off. You can see, I'm not, I'm not putting too much pressure on because I don't want to force it off. You see it how it's loose. I can actually see where that original plaster has been sanded, but I would say that the contract emulsion that they've used clearly wasn't thin enough to penetrate and soak into the surface. Now, I'm quite happy, I'm nearly getting to a tightish edge, there's only a little bit coming off, he says there's another big bit that comes off, we're not far off that. Oh, we'll let it go at that. So I'm just going to get a bit of sandpaper. See you in a mini Oh, can't see me. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at that. Oh, see you in a mini Right, 
you won't see me because we want to be looking at this. You've probably just seen me sanding it down and dusting it all off. I'm quite happy with that. This is what we call a matte edge because in effect it looks like the shape of countries and um, islands and continents all on a map. Now I've got the peel stop, you see that? Got the peel stop, I'm working out the tin because I'm only using a brush full. I've just got a nice, just nice soft inch brush. This is, oh, I think this is one of the Wix um, pack of three brushes that we've had. Now I'm gonna apply it, it goes on clear. I'm gonna scrub it across, I'm not gonna, I don't want it running. And I'm gonna make sure, you can see me, I'm brushing it against that mapped edge. So there's plenty going into that edge just there. Right, where the bare plaster is, coating that up as well. Brush it out, I don't want it too thick. Another brush full, I'm just going to go around those edges like that. Now, do you know what? That's all you need to do. I'm going to leave this Velux open, I'm going to let that dry, I'm going to come back to it in a bit, I'm going to skim it out with filler, and then I'm going to talk to you. So, catch you later, alligators. While I'm waiting for that peel stop to dry, there's only a couple of Veluxes that need a dressing for this sort of skimming out with peel stop and filler. So this is another one that I did earlier, as if by magic we did one earlier. Again, this was across the top, I don't know whether you'll see it. It had flaked off. I got it back to a tight edge. I peel stopped it before I did the start of the video on the other bit. Now this is already dry because it's been about an hour and also the Velux, we've got the sun, it's dried off nicely. All I've done on this one is literally skim that matte edge. I've not tried to float the whole area across. I've just filled that edge. Virtually tight and smooth in one go. So it'll only need a little bit of sanding down. I'm not too worried. I don't really see it. So it's not in focus. Come on, let's get some focus, people. Let's see if I can get you focusing. If I press a button here and I press a button there. There you go, let's see if we can do this. Is that better? I think you get the idea. That might be better. Yeah, so what I've done, where that mapped edge is, that thick edge, we'll call it a thick edge, I've just lightly skimmed over to float, we call it floating out, that part of the painted area into the plaster, because that's quite a big area, you won't notice that. So floated that out with Presto F, Again, that will dry quite quickly. I can give it a little, a little. Not little as in the shop. I'm on about little, a little, a little sand down. So that will be just likely sanded. And as I said, I'll probably touch that in with a bit of peel stop because that will soak in nicely and give me a nice base to put um, the emulsion, which in here, remember the blue room in here, this is the spray daylight as well that I brushed. So um, I'm going to crack on with some other jobs while all this is drying and I'll come, to, come back to you in a, an hour or so. Got me filler. Let's get filling. Don't whether you can see that too well. I've actually filled that across now, so all that area is. Let's get my camera right. All that area is skimmed over. I'll leave that now. Let it dry. See me. I'll leave that now. Let it dry, 
and then it'll just have a light sand just to get any uh, I'll, let's, let's call it trowel marks just in case any filling knife marks just raising the edge just light sand and then we'll touch it in with a bit of peel stock and then that can be painted so all in all we're nearly good to go so I'm actually back with you the next day <sighs> main reason is I got jobs to do and I wanted to cut the grass at home I wanted to get the barbecue on so I didn't want to be hanging around for filler drying off so I've come back the next day that filler that Presto F dries lovely yeah it might take a little bit longer than a mix-up powder filler um, but it is actually a nice filler to sand so where I am with it now I've actually sanded because I've got the other Veluxes that I'm doing exactly the same thing where the paint's pulled off so I've actually sanded those down nicely now and dusted off and just the last part of the puzzle I'm just going to put just another coat over that bare filler obviously the bare filler is dry just to act as a sealer primer for when I come back at another time to touch in you know, I can't even say that to touch in the emulsion now I'm not going to touch in the emulsion now I'm going to give the peel stop time to dry main reason on that one oh, I've got a kitchen fitter coming so no doubt by the time this kitchen goes in these ceilings you see above me around and about will get marked so my idea is my flaky paint has all been sorted I've got it all treated, I've got the peel stop on it, I've filled it, sanded it, peel stopped it again, that gives it a nice primer base for putting the emulsion over the top, which if you remember, I told you seconds ago, minutes ago, that is the Bedeck Spray Daylight. And what, round these reveals, I don't want to get silhouetted again, round these reveals, I will just brush them. I'm not, not going over the top with getting the sprayer out. But if you can see just there, that is nicely smoothed, I did actually float it out so we didn't have a mapping edge um, showing and then dipping down can you see me where it dips down onto the bare plaster um, surface the, the the substrate so that has actually been skimmed level sanded down nicely because I got it a nice it was virtually level in one go just a little bit of trowel mark we'll call we'll call it trowel marks where the filling knife just left a bit of an edge that's sanded down fine so um, I'm going to move the camera around and let's see if you can just see me um how should we say just using an inch brush working out a tin oh dear me it's awful waking up all right let's bring you over here Well, I've got you. I'll just, I'll just say thank you. There's been quite an influx of people pressing that button below that says give thanks. The odd one, two pounds, ten pounds, twenty, fifty pounds. I could cry. It's much appreciated because, as I've said in previous videos, I'm using any money that people are sending me as a give thanks, not to go towards the Porsche fund. It actually helps fund the video editing software that I'm now paying for monthly. I've gone away quite a while back now, um, beginning of this year, back end of last year. I stopped using the free software and I've actually paid for it because it just gives me a little bit more scope. Hopefully you can probably see a slight improvement on some of the video editing um, visuals. But no, so uh, that, that, that said, I've said it before. Thank you very much for those that are supporting the channel by doing give thanks. Right, said that, let's get there. This, you can't see it, you can just, I can just see it on camera, so you, hopefully you can see it as well. I can see where the edges are around, you can go, I'm going down, I'm coming back across there and up and across. I can see where the filler is. That filler went on the peel stop beautifully, I'm going to say beautifully. Can you remember Bernard Matthews, it beautiful, beautiful, however it was said. Anyway, let's get this coat off. I've only just got an inch brush and I'm just brushing it over the filler. Nothing rocket sciencey about it. And this is just going to soak in to that filler to give me a nice base for when I come back to do the emulsioning at a later stage of this project where I'm doing the flat up. And that is it. I've just done three brushfuls. I've scrubbed it over. I can see a little bit of crazing in that corner where 
I don't know whether you can see oh, oh. a little bit of crazing in that corner where there was a bit of paint build up and it's crozzled. This peel stop's ideal for any crazing. So just one more brush full, just make sure I've not missed anything. And you know what? There you go, that's gonna prime and seal that beautifully, beautifully. Beautiful, that was it. Bernard Matthews, beautiful. Not beautiful, it's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, that was, I keep going on about, beautiful. That was the guys in the barber shop, yeah. But Bernard Matthews was beautiful, yeah, yeah, right. So that's that, I'm gonna say, I hope you understand where to use this. I will be doing other videos where I'm using this instead of um, stabilizing solution on outside render. That'll be a video probably in a few weeks from this one. But this is an outside product as well as an inside. God's isn't an outside product. So I'm going to leave it to that. You've seen it. If you've got peeling paint in a bathroom, in a kitchen, anywhere that you've got issues with, check out Zinza Peel Stop. It's one of them products that everybody should keep in the van as well as God's. So thanks for listening. See you on the next one.